The odds against you and they double stack. Stay woke. I didn't even charge none of my batteries. The other battery, I cut my camera on, it turned on for a second, cut right back off. This is about to die also because it's blinking. So I guess I'll just have to blind for the rest of the day on my phone. But I just wanted to hop on here and say good morning to you guys. And yeah, let you know what I had going on. I'm on my way to the grocery store now. I may have to stop at another grocery store. I mean, Walmart, like, you know, you could buy groceries there. But like, as for meats, I feel like um, I can get meats at another store, like for a, a bigger variety. So I may stop at another store, but I'm not 100% sure. My mom's coming today. She's coming to see baby girl. She's going to stay for a couple days. And yeah, so once I'm done this, I gotta get gas and then I'm on my way back home. Um, so yeah, I'ma just turn this off cause it's dying and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. y'all really can't see me that well my head keep coming up this is my black owned head okay period i believe it's gonna be the vlog before this one maybe um the vlog let me hold this real quick just just so y'all can see me um the vlog where rock had his hoodie on the disconnected from humanity hoodie um this is from the same brand so go ahead and check them out this is the trucker hat i like it um the only thing i'm confused about is i guess it's like the logo or whatever or not the logo i don't know so as you can see it says angels damn i should get some chick-fil-a i don't feel like waiting though So as you can see, it says angels, but it has a devil right here. So I'm a little confused about that. But other than that, I think it's cute. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe trucker hats are just like this. Like they go up really high. But I kind of don't like how high it's sticking up. Like I said, maybe that's, that's just the style of a trucker hat. I would like if it was more like flat on my head. But other than that, it's cute. But anyway, I had came back on camera because I wanted to tell y'all what happened in Walmart just now. So y'all know how, I don't know how it is wherever y'all live, but I know around Chia, uh, the grocery stores are like, they just barely have cashiers anymore. Mostly everything is like self-checkout, right? So... I went through self-checkout, like always. And I'm checking out my stuff. I had quite a, quite a few things. So I'm checking out my stuff. And um, 
And the last couple of times I went there, I've seen the same lady work self-checkout. It's been the same lady the last couple of times. You know, some white lady or whatever. And before I even get into it, like, I don't think she's racist or anything like that because I do remember a time where she was working at self-checkout and this is when I was pregnant and you know I was checking my stuff out and then she actually pulled up another cart she was like here let me you know make it easier for you so she pulled up another cart so I can transfer you know what was rang up so I can transfer those bags into another cart instead of having to put it in the same cart and ramble through stuff and take the stuff that's not checked out not checked out out the cart y'all know so I remember she did that for me one time and then we had a little conversation on she uses this certain app to save money or whatever 10 times out of 10 she don't remember me but I remember her so you know from that conversation I don't think she's racist or anything but <laughs> but she pulled some shit just now so I'm checking my stuff out and towards the end I got like maybe like two three two three things left in my cart so y'all know when y'all like getting um the produce or whatever or even if you're getting meat you know how you put it in that clear plastic bag so I had my lemon zucchini and squash all in the same clear bag right so I do my lemon first you know, I look up the item, type in the barcode, boom. I check all of it out. I do the zucchini and the squash. I'm done. Put that in the shopping bag, right? So she starts to walk over. And, and I feel like she always do this anyway. Like, you know, look in your car. Like, she's a nosy ass lady. I can tell you that. I don't even know her. And, and I can tell you that. So she comes back over and she says, um... It says, she either said, it says that you have your lemon and zucchini and everything in the same bag. Or either she said, it look, I see that you had your lemon and zucchini in the same bag. Something like that. Um, and I say, yeah. And then she goes, she, go, she goes, okay. She said, did you check out your lemon? Bitch, what? And like, excuse my language, sorry but she got me hot like what are you talking about did i check out my lemon are you asking me that because i'm black are you asking me that because you just assume that i'm gonna steal something from walmart are you asking me that because you're racial profiling me are you asking me that because you're stereotyping me like what are you doing like what what's the reason behind your question right now because i'm lost oh okay did you check out your lemon i said yeah i shouldn't even answer her but I said, yeah. She said, okay. And then she tries to switch it up. Okay. Yeah, it's smart to put everything all in the same bag so you don't have to worry about, girl, see you. I ain't even say nothing else to her. So then she picks up the plastic bag off the floor. Let, let me get this out your way so you don't slip and fall. Okay, you can pick it up and get it out my way. So then I, she's like kind of talking to herself. Oh, your station is running out of bags. Let me go grab some more bags. So I waited for her to come back over there. And I said, let me ask you a question sorry if I'm talking weird I got my retainers in I said let me ask you a question she said yeah go ahead ask me anything you want ask me anything you want so I said um I said what made you ask me did I check out my lemon and then she said oh because I saw that you had everything all in one bag so I just wanted to make sure you checked out your lemon first of all lemon is 56 cents sweetheart I don't have to steal a lemon for 56 cents I don't, I don't have to. I just don't. <clears throat> I said, did you ask me because I said, did you think that I wasn't going to check out the lemon? Did you think that did you think that I was still the lemon? Is that what made you ask me that? Oh, no, no. So she pulls her mask down as, you know, I guess she's trying to. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So she, you know, pretty much she just goes on and says, oh, no, no, not that. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my job. I'm just making sure everything is checked out. Um, I'm just making sure you didn't forget it. 
I said, I paid for everything in my cart. I said, I don't have to steal nothing from Walmart. I paid for absolutely everything in my cart. I said, and I'm gonna let you know, that made me feel some type of way that you, that you, that you felt the need to ask me, did I check out the lemon? She said, well, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to make you feel no type of way or whatever, or some bull crap like that. The same way you iron everything down in my cart and the same way that you saw that I, the, the little small lemon that was in the bag with the zucchini and squash, the same way that you notice that tiny lemon in the bag, I hope that you're looking at everybody else's cart the same way that you're looking at mine, sweetie. Because yes, I felt some type of way. I don't know who else was in that self checkout. I wasn't looking around me. Uh, I was on a mission. I was just ringing my stuff up and I was going. But that made me feel some type of way and whether she wants to say that you know she was just doing her job or whatever like no you saw that it was a black person standing in line you saw that i had three different items in a bag and you thought that i probably only checked out one like no i took the time out and i checked out all my stuff i don't need to steal nothing I ain't using no food stamps. I ain't using no EBT card. I'm paying with my regular debit card and no shade thrown towards people who do use food stamps. And you know what I'm saying? Like no shade, get it how you get it, how you get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I tried to get them at one point, but I couldn't. But my point is I'm using my, my regular money, sweetheart. And that's just what it is. Hello, you guys. I am on my way to Plato's Closet to drop off some clothes that I had sitting in a bin for forever. I just never made my way over there. Um, but now that my mom is here at my house, um, she's watching the baby, obviously. I figured I just throw something on and bring my butt over here because like I said the clothes literally have just been sitting now I've been to Plato's Closet before and they're real like particular about what they um, accept from you and I know like from last time like if the clothes have um like words on it or whatever or writing something like that like they'll I, like they'll take it but you won't get nothing for it like you won't get no money for it um and yeah like if they just look too run down like or if they look yeah if they look too run down um like you won't get no money for it but that's obvious though i wouldn't even try to bring anything here that looked like you know really bad but i mean it's a bin full of stuff so i'm gonna see um what they offer me or whatever probably won't be much because i already know how they get down but um it's all good, like whatever they want to offer, I don't even mind because I just need to get rid of this stuff. And honestly, okay, so it's mad car sitting here, like who's going? <laughs> like, go ahead, sir. They all sitting here looking crazy. waiting in their car to... let me just back up and do this again so I just pulled up here there's a lady sitting in her car I don't if she's waiting for them to open because it says that they open at 10 so I don't know if she's sitting here waiting for that or 
if she already went in there and dropped her stuff off i mean they have the open sign lit up but it's um it's 956 and it says they don't open until 10 so i may just call and ask can i go in now I know y'all probably tired of seeing me with this mask on, but baby girl, I wash it, okay? And I'm gonna wear it again right now because it matches my outfit. Hi, Casey. Am I able to bring my things in now or I should wait till 10? I'm sorry, say it again. Am I able to bring in my clothes now or should I wait till 10? Wait two more minutes? Uh, yes, yeah. We open up right at 10 o'clock. So as soon as we unlock the door, you can go ahead and bring your stuff in. Okay, thank you. No problem. Have a good one. You too. Apparently, when you're dropping off clothes, clothes here at Plato's Closet, make sure. Oh, now I got little flyaways. <clears throat> um, make sure you put it in like a bin or just something that's closed or whatever. Um, like, don't bring it in no bag no open bag or i usually put all my stuff in like a just a big trash bag is that what i did last time i'm pretty i'm pretty sure but don't put it in nothing like that um excuse me because of covid they're not accepting things they're not accepting clothes and things like that so yeah like i said make sure it's like in a bin or something um because i had walked in and i asked the girl just to make sure um for like next time if i bring something i asked her does it have to be in a bin and um she was basically like yeah and again she said because of covid and i guess the uh girl behind me she had heard heard me ask her or she caught the tail end of it um and then she said, okay, so I'm guessing like you can't accept this because she bought her, first of all, <laughs> she had a pair of Jordans in her hand and then she had her clothes and like, um, looked something like a beach bag or whatever. And then the girl was like, yeah, we can't accept that, um, you know, because of like what you brought it in because of COVID. She was like, I'm sorry about that. So that's just a little tip for you guys on, you know, if you want to go ahead and give them some clothes just make sure you take it in something acceptable that they will accept the clothes in i want to go to the beauty supply store because i want to pick up um i want to pick up some hair so i can do my hair okay i love this wig i love it it's everything but I don't know i just figure it's time to give um wigs a little bit of a break you know switch it up i used to always switch my hair up when i was younger and the only reason is because my aunt used to do my hair and she's like the only person that i let really like do my hair like on a regular like she's really the only per i mean besides my mom 
Um, and then I can remember this one time when I got micro braids when I was younger, which I will never get again. <laughs> um, some girl in Philly did that, but besides that, she was the only person that did my hair like consistently or whatever, like at an actual hair salon. Um, so yeah, I used to stay like changing my hair. I used to go every two weeks and I just, I used to stay with a different hairstyle, but that was me. Like I love that. I just love switching it up and I still do, but I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really switched it up a whole lot. Like I've been wearing wigs more than ever. Number one, because I don't know. Like, not that I don't trust nobody doing my hair, but I don't know. I don't know. But, like, hairstylists nowadays, oh my goodness. Like, I've heard of some crazy crap. I don't really know how it is here where I live because I don't go to the hair salon. But I'm pretty sure this is how it is. Like, a lot of places, like hairstylists nowadays want you to come to them with your hair washed blown out just clean and ready to be done and it's like but sis like aren't aren't you supposed to do that like aren't you the hairstylist aren't you supposed to wash my hair blow dry it do it I mean at least that's what they used to do back in the day <laughs> and it sounds crazy that I'm saying back in the day because I'm not that old. But as far as I can remember back when I used to get my hair done, like, that's what hairstylists did. Like, they washed your hair for you. Um, I mean, and I'm sure, like, some still do. And, like, if you want to pay extra, of course they'll do it. But it's like, you got to pay to get your hair washed, which is crazy. You got to pay, you got to pay for a trim. You got to pay for this, pay for that, pay, like, oh my God. And I understand, like, you got to get your money how you get it. I understand that. Like, you got to feed your kids. I get it. I get it. But it's like, you got to pay for every little single thing. And it's just crazy. Like, I remember the first time I got my hair done out here. I was referred to the lady by my old co-worker so you know it kind of makes me feel a little bit more comfortable like when I'm referred to somebody because obviously that person who referred me trust that person good enough to you know do a good job on me so that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable um so I had went to her to get um just like a wrap or i don't know what y'all call it a doobie or whatever basically you get your hair washed blown out straightened <laughs> they wrap it up or you know whatever um so i had got that in dead serious it came up to like 85 dollars. i was like what like what is going on here like, I paid for um, the wash and the wrap itself or whatever. And then I needed my hair trim. And that was an extra $15 for a trim. And it came up to $85. I was like, what? Like, what is going on? And then, like, you got a tip. Like, you can't get a service done and not tip. I mean, you can, but that's ghetto. And I'm not she. Y'all want to come with me? Y'all want to come with me to the hair store? All right, I'll take y'all with me. I'll take y'all with me. I hope they got what I'm looking for. Oh, boy. It's nice outside. Sunny, it's all bright, sunny and bright. Oh, that's where that place is. I didn't even know. Interesting. <sighs> oh, 
Hello. Look how cute. I was looking for you. I just need you for some pricing. Uh -huh. um, so I'm doing, well first, what do you recommend for faux locks? I don't want, I don't want the pre-made ones. Um, so I'm gonna twist it myself. Yep. So, you got the Marley or the, this one. So this one or this one? Mm -hmm. And what's the price difference between the two? $7.99, uh, $4.99. Okay. Is this one better? since it's more expensive. I mean, I'm just asking. I don't know. Not, Not really. Per se. They're, they're like the same. Okay. It's just longer. Longer. Mm -hmm. So you said this is $7.99 and $4.99. Yep. Okay. So, okay, that helps. I'll decide from here. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate it.